So summer is almost over. And since summer is almost over, that means Halloween is like right around the corner. One of my favorite times to do makeup is around Halloween because the creativity is just there and it flows and it's magnificent. And I love being able to do Halloween tutorials for you. I'm super, super, super excited to tell you guys that I have been given the amazing opportunity to team up with Party City and I'm going to be creating looks and makeup tutorials based off of basically all the products that you can find at Party City. Everything that I always have used was able to be found at Party City because that's where I always got my stuff. Anywho, so what better way to start off the Halloween season than with a zombie tutorial? This is the Walking Dead Little Girl Mouth Kit, which can be purchased at Party City. Um, this is the prosthetic that we're going to be using. It is going to be on the side of our mouth. Um, it's going to be like a half cheek exposed teeth exposed. It's going to be magnificent and gory and amazing. And this kit comes with a packet of fake blood and a packet of the basically liquid latex. This says face adhesive, but liquid latex, same thing. Um, and that's what we're going to be using as well as my good old toilet paper trick. If you guys remember those from last year. We want to start with a completely clean face, clear of any makeup, oil, dirt, whatever. You're going to want to take the prosthetic. Since it is a mouth, you're going to want to measure it to your own mouth to make sure um, that the teeth on this line up kind of with your own teeth. That way it'll be easy to talk when you're wearing it all night. What you're going to want to do is take the face adhesive. Spirit gum works just as well if you have that already. You just squeeze it on your finger and then take what's on your finger and you're just going to line it going around. Um, this stuff gets sticky fast so you want to work quickly. So you're just going to line the rim of it. See, so you want to go all around. It's okay if it gets into the middle because it's just going to make it stick even more. But you want to mainly focus on the edges because that's what can easily peel off. Once we have that done, we're going to be placing it on our mouth. Then we're going to press it in. This stuff is super sticky, so you shouldn't have a problem with it. Um, but if you do for some reason, you can just go back along the outer edges. But we're going to be sealing this anyway, so it's going to stay down. So don't worry about it. After you get this on, you're going to want to go wash your hands since it is extremely sticky. Um, you're not going to want your hands to be sticking to everything else. So let's just go wash your hands and then we'll be right back. So after we wash our hands, we're going to go back in with more liquid latex. So we're not going to be using our finger. So that's okay. We're going to use a sponge. This is where the toilet paper is going to come in. And you're just going to rip a small piece off and then just little pieces from that piece. We're going to take some liquid latex, get it on the sponge. And we're going to go around the prosthetic piece. This is going to add more texture to your face so it doesn't look so flat. And then we're going to add pieces of the tissue. That we are going to use. I'm going to flat that out, fold it. We're not going to go around the entire surface, just on like the edges. Because um, as you can see, this on the prosthetic, they already have a part where it's supposed to look like the skin was torn. So we're just going to do it on the more flat looking areas. Because a zombie's face can never be too messed up, right? Now, it doesn't have to be perfectly flat because we're going to tear at it anyway to make it look even more creepy. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want it to be down because you want it to be sticking. But it doesn't have to be flat, if you know what I'm saying. We're going to let this air dry for a few minutes and then we're going to go over it with some powder. Um, foundation powder, translucent powder, doesn't matter. Just basically to seal in the latex so it's not as sticky. You just need a small amount just to go around it, seal it in. All right, so now after we're done with that, we're going to take um, face makeup. So your regular facial 
foundation. Um, if you're a guy and don't have this, you can find this at the 99 cent store or if you know a girl that's willing to let you borrow it, that's cool too. And we're gonna go over this white so it can match our skin. Foundation doesn't have to be perfect because now we're just gonna start peeling at it. Um, it's mainly just for the edges to kind of get the edges to stick, but we're gonna peel at it now and it's gonna expose the white again. Like I said, that's really just for the edges. Um, this is going to give your face texture once we cover it up with the face makeup. It's going to just look like your face is peeling and you look crazy. And this doesn't hurt. It looks like it hurts, so it doesn't. You can even get a tweezer and take the tweezer and just like nip at it. Um, but your best tool is your hands. So once you've peeled away um, a good amount and you can kind of see your regular skin now, we're going to go in with red cream makeup. Um, you could use your fingers, you could use a brush, it doesn't really matter. At first it's just going to be kind of sparse, so it's going to be kind of messy. Um, so you could use your fingers because you don't have to be precise just yet. Um, so just going to squeeze some of that on a brush. And we're going to start getting into the crevices from where we ripped. Essentially, putting the foundation is really optional. Um, if you don't want to waste your foundation, then definitely. But it just makes it easier than it just being all white. And then you have this smooth line that looks like your skin. So you don't have to worry about getting the red all the way up to be covering that white. Next, we're going to take some black cream makeup. And we're basically going to do the same thing, but just a tiny bit different. We're not going to cover the whole area. We're going to put some on a brush and at first just dot it. Um, I used this same method last year for my burnt Too Faced look. So we're going to dot it and then we're going to take a textured sponge and kind of blend it out that way. And this textured sponge is really good because it pulls at the tissue as well so it kind of moves it around in a natural way and not one where we were just tearing at. As usual, don't worry about this getting messy or if you think you messed up because we're going to be covering it up with blood um, and blood hides all imperfections. See it right now? All the um, peeling that we did helped me a really nice texture for our fake skin. Before we move on into adding the blood, we're going to want to do something with our eyes. We're a zombie, we're, you know, sleepy, tired, uh, whatnot. We're going to put some black going around our eyes to make us really tired. This is where the fun part comes, and that is when we get to use our fake blood. So we're going to start slow and apply it with a brush. Just put it where we put all that other red earlier, just in like the opening areas. You're going to want to go on the frustata also and get all that. Then we're going to take our textured sponge again. We're going to get some blood on there. We're going to push in. Um, this is where it's good to bring it down your neck. So on this side. We look like we just had a feast of uh, some sort, whatever zombies do, I guess, eat people. So that's really it for this tutorial. This is something that you can really just do the guidelines and make it your own, uh, whether or not you want to spruce it up a little bit more. Um, this is my take on the Walking Dead 
little girl. Uh, it's creepy and it's bloody and it's gory and it's amazing and I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys liked it for my first Halloween tutorial of the year. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more. This piece keeps going up. I didn't push it down far enough. But that's okay. Um, hope you guys liked it. This Everything I use can be found at Party City. So check out your Party City this Halloween for all your tutorial stuff. Um, that's it for now. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys subscribe if you haven't. And it's going to be a great Halloween season.